Hey, it's Sam back here. Welcome to this uh, video. Now, this is live and out. I'm going to show you this software in action today, why this software is useful, uh, where this might fit into your strategy overall, and uh, what you might want to use this software for. Um, I haven't actually used one of these softwares before. This is something that's brand new to me, but this is basically a live streaming software for Facebook for Facebook so you can actually go live onto Facebook with this software. It includes a number of features so you can obviously connect up your Facebook account which I've already done. It's very easy to do that. You can then go into plugin settings. You can connect up a number of integrations that will help you to register people for the webinar and uh, do a few more things. You can add team members if you're doing this for a client and you've also got a number of app integrations you can do within the system as well to capture people who register for your webinar into your favorite autoresponder. But here's where most of the action takes place. This is where you create a new event and you're able to then live directly onto uh, live uh, go live onto Facebook or you're able to upload a pre-recorded video that can then be streamed onto your Facebook. You can stream onto timelines, you can stream onto pages, you can stream onto groups, or you can do them all at once if you want to as well. And you just select the groups you want to go live on, and it will do this all at once. Now you can schedule these at the time that you want it to go live, so you don't need to schedule it right away. You can actually go live when you want to. And you can even notify the registrants of your uh, live presentation uh, via email or SMS. And that's why the integration is important if you want to be able to notify people uh, after they've registered as well automatically. So this scheduled one's really straightforward. You basically just schedule in your time, you upload your video, and uh, then you're able to, um, you know, do this. Uh, or you can actually record a live presentation and you can actually do a live presentation either at a scheduled time or you can actually go live now <clears throat> and you'll be able to do um, direct live presentations onto Facebook. Again, this is the timeline, page or group, and uh, you can actually choose which, <coughs> excuse me, which Facebook account you want to um, to go live onto. It can either be your personal account or someone else's account you've added to this, such as a client or someone else. Now, I'm going to stream to my timeline, and I'm going to uh, deselect the page. I'm not going to stream to my page. It's uh, asking me to, to stream to my page anyway, so let's just uh, go to, for example, an old page of mine, maybe how to create an in, your first internet business, and let's just assume we have that turned on. Okay, it's turned off now. So um, this is the timeline, so I'm gonna to stream to my timeline. That's my Facebook timeline. Now you could turn this off and you could stream to Facebook pages or groups if you wanted to. So I could say, for example, um, my, you know, I could stream this video that I'm doing right now, a review of live NAR. And um, I can go live right now, and I can do that by clicking Create. And what it's going to do is it's now going to take me to the webinar room. And this is really, really cool. It's um, a really simple webinar room that you can kind of control everything from, and you can even engage directly with people on Facebook through comments um, that are placed within this as well. So you just need to allow your microphone, allow your video. Um, if you want to go on video, you can kind of see me at the bottom of the screen right now. Um, hey, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do my hair, um, but um, you can basically go live here and you can even stream your, des uh, stream your, stream your desktop. So um, I could, for example, if I wanted to actually go allow and I can actually share my desktop and you can see that happening down the bottom here. And if I wanted to go and select the desktop to go and show in the main area here, I can do that um, by clicking on one of these buttons here and it will stream basically that to people. So when I'm ready to go live, um, it's gonna show what I'm streaming live. In this area here, it's gonna show what's actually going live. Um, I'm gonna do that just to see what happens. And um, we've also got on our left-hand side, cap comments, captions. Um, that's like a title um, and that's a description. You've also got branding here. You can brand it if you want. You can add overlays, you can add a background. This is to the actual live presentation as you're doing it as well. So you can do something like this if you wanted to. You could have yourself appearing in here. Um, and you can also have a um, add a video in as well if you want to play a video at a particular time. So that's really, really cool. So basically you go live. It says five, four, three, two, one. Um, I'm now live on Facebook and um, uh, hopefully um, no one's watching because <laughs> that would be kind of confusing. Um, but this is basically um, how you how you control the system. So if I want to show a particular um, part of this, uh, if I wanted to show a particular uh, this video here, then now I'm live on camera on Facebook. It's me in person doing this review. 
And if I wanted to say, for example, add this video here, I could add it at the same time. And it's basically recording that video. And then I could add this here, which is like showcasing everything. Um, I can go over to Facebook right now and I can see whether this is actually streaming live. Um, it should be streaming live right now. I can actually go to my Facebook account. You can see that I'm actually streaming live right now. That's my video. Uh, and video um, here, then now I'm live on camera on Facebook. So you can see that I'm actually here and it's even got captions um, for what I'm saying. So there's a slight delay, which is normal. And um, you can see here that it's actually recording this. And right now, if someone wants to watch on Facebook, they can actually watch me right now. And maybe there are some people watching, perhaps. Um, perhaps there are some people watching. So we'll um, <laughs> cancel out of that. So it's a really easy software to use. I'm just going to stop this webinar now. If you, When you're ready to stop, you click stop. You might want to be wondering why it's doing that weird kind of thing where it does shows multiple screens. That's because I'm showing my screen as I'm actually doing the recording. If you showed like a browser or anything like that, it's not going to interrupt it in that way. It's going to be fine. It's going to play normally. But just because I was showing my actual screen where I was doing the recording, that's why it showed like multiple screens. So I click stop when I'm done. It'll rec it's recorded the presentation. I can now use that recording in future to go live again on Facebook with that recording. And um, I can now go back to Livenar. It's recorded this. It'll be listed within my webinars. And um, I'll be able to go over that in future. So that's basically what this software does. It's a very easy software to use. You saw how easy it was right there. Um, I'm able to schedule in webinars in advance. I'm able to record webinars. I'm able to um, add webinars that are recorded. So if you don't want to do them live, you can do them recorded. And you can do this for clients as well. So really, really cool software. I really like it. It's simple. It does what it says it does, and it does really well. I was able to demonstrate it and know exactly what to do, even though this is one of the first times going through this software. So I highly recommend the software if you're interested in being able to stream on Facebook and get traffic that way. And you can go down below to see all of the bonuses that are included with this software. Cool. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Baker. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.